All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to turn on something called backspace culling. I'm just going to center this with the F key. So under um, two seconds here. So under mesh display, go and reverse. And what this is going to allow is for us to see inside uh, the cube. And now display. And under display, you want to go to polygons and back face culling. So you should probably see this. Mine had already been turned on because I was playing around with it before. So go here and back face culling. And now it's turned on. Okay. So if you click, you can see that it's there. And so I'm ready to work inside this room. All right. So uh, one thing I want to do now is create a cube and drag it in. So I'm going to click here. And I want to... Uh, you know, I'm going to make a couple boxes and uh, I'm going to move these uh, in the corner over here. So you should go pick the same corner uh, and your arrow, your, I don't know why this arrow is yellow right now. It should be red, but your, your front arrow, there it is, is because it was selected. That's why uh, is facing this way and use your orthographic mode to see, oh, see, I'm not right on the floor here. I want to go a little higher. And I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to press the space bar. And I'm going to now use the WER tool. So the R tool. And I'm going to make a longer box. Then press the W and move it up. And just, there you go. It's pretty close. And now I'm going to use the duplicate menu. So under edit, there's the duplicate, which is control D. And it'll look like nothing's been created. But if you look over here, you can see that there is now a new... Uh, thing that was created so if I move it out there it is and now one of the things you may want to do is use the E key and press the W key and you know lean them up and here's where you want to definitely use your orthographic modes to make sure they're not like all over each other and they kind of are so you see here I want this leaning up against that one then I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on this one does that look okay and I can also come on over here and one thing I may not have mentioned is how to move around in the 3D space. The biggest tip I can give you is Alt is your friend. So Alt allows me to move, rotate, and then the middle mouse button allows you to scroll slowly, or Alt, and the right mouse button is a smooth move, okay? And um, Alt and the middle mouse button allows you to move up and down. So Alt is your friend, all right? And press F and it centers everything. So F is that really cool hockey. So create two or three boxes here, more, and uh, don't don't spend too much time on that. But uh, that's what you should be doing now. All right. So one thing I want you to be aware of is if you try to uh, click on this box when you're looking from the outside, you can't click on it. You're like, well, is something wrong? Well, you got to be in the box. So you got to go like this. Alt is your friend, and now you can select it. Now, when you start adding several boxes, one of the things that's going to start being, it may be hard to see the difference. So one recommendation is to click this button and it turns off the gamma. And so you have a, a better. So now remember this, if you're outside the box, you can't click inside the box. You have to, you're going to click the whole box. So you zoom in then click and then you're inside. Okay. Very important. Before you continue, I'm going to actually press alt and make sure your, your room your boxes are in this corner and that the red arrow is pointing this way okay uh, because we're going to add some cool columns at the back here and I'm going to show you a neat trick so again click on the cube uh, drag it in there and so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to probably well, go and press the R key and we're going to make it a lot longer and we want it to be narrow and long whoops press right over here and so I want it to fit in this room. So one thing that I'm going to maybe have to do is um, press W and see when it hits the bottom. So I want it to be at the top. So I'm going to go all the way over here so that I can get the right measurement. Press W. Sorry, press R is what I meant. So then I'm going to press W and check. And if it's too tall, I might have to press R again and just shrink it a little bit. Oh, there. It doesn't have to be quite at the top, but close. And, you know, again, you can use your orthographic mode. Uh, what is that again? Like that. You can check. Yeah, it's at the bottom. I'm happy. Uh, and for now, 
Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of neat other tools that you can use uh, with this one. One thing I'm going to recommend that you do with your boxes is that you name them. Okay, again, we're going to go in the room. And I forgot to do that, so i got to be in the room, Alt is my friend. And then click here, and I want to name that uh, box one, and then box two. Get into the habit of doing that. And I just created a pillar, so again, I'm in the room. And I could press the space bar if I don't like how I can't see anything. And I'll go pillar one. something like that and then I'm going to show you a few other cool tricks okay so now what I want to do is I'm going to use the modeling toolkit which is this right up here when you click on it you can see this is object mode how do I know it's an object mode because it's green if I click on this this is edge mode and what I want to do is select two of the edges and create a bevel okay so now there's more than one way to get th this if you press on the space bar um, press on the right mouse button you can also get your edge mode okay so I prefer using the right mouse button so now I'm in face mode but I, I need to let's go to the right second here oh so I'm gonna go again right click I want to be on edge mode so I click here press the shift key and press there and that'll allow me to click two things so if you want there's two places you click bevel here or you can also click on it uh, up here somewhere. There it is. So I'm going to just click on it up here. And so there you go. You're going to see this appear. And so that's pretty good. We're happy with that. And what I then want to do is I want to use, uh, I'm going to use edge mode down here. So I'm going to go click. Mr. Follows. Press the shift key. Oops. I want to make sure I only have the edges. If I'm not sure, zoom in. Press the W key and push that in. What this is going to do is it's going to make it look a little bit cooler. So let's, yeah, I'm happy with that. I could push it in a little bit more. And we're done for this video. Okay, just make sure that this is on the, whoops, Control Z. What you want to do is before you move that, you want to be in object mode or space bar and object mode. Why object mode? Because it moves the whole object. So again, I'm outside the room. I got to be inside the room. And again, I could use my orthographic mode here to double check. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'm happy. So that's all for today. If you have any questions, let me know.